Hi, I'm Sonia, and Intuitive Impressor. This is a collective reading for Scorpio. Welcome, Scorpio. So don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen, and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take it resonates and leave the rest for someone else, and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Please be careful of scammers. Know that I will not reach out to you for a paid reading. You have to reach out to me first from my website or my Facebook page. So... The cards that I use are Mystic Dreamer Tarot by Heidi Dress and Barbara Moore and Rider right Wake Tarot by Pamela Coleman Smith. Um, you've had a painful ending and you're also wanting to give some sort of love offer. You're wanting to give some sort of um, offer of love, it looks like. Or someone's wanting to give an offer of love towards you. But there's a, a cycle, there's a cycle, um, positive cycle that's beginning here. It looks like it could have been some sort of pattern of cycle that was happening, a repetitive cycle that possibly led to this ending. So this has been a painful ending, stabbed in the back, something that's happened over and over, and now somebody is wanting to offer something. It could be an apology, it could be an offer of friendship. It's a little bit immature, so it's not actually a king. So it could be a small, immature something. So anyway, I'm going to clarify these cards now. Looks like you've been, cry you've been crying over spilt milk, but you're actually starting to feel a bit happier. Let's see, what is this five of cups? Okay, so at the moment, you are crying over spilt milk here. Looks like you're focused on the lack, you're being focused on the disappointment. You're focused on what has not worked out, and it's actually keep looking back and thinking maybe you lost... Maybe you lost something, and it's like you were looking back instead of looking forward at at what you know, what you had, the other two cups that you had. So you were kind of like, maybe you've had some sort of, um, you've just been kind of like focused on the, on the lack. And it's actually like, things are starting to balance out now. This is Sagittarius energy. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So maybe you're focused on your money. You're trying, like, maybe you're really good with your money and you're actually kind of um, really getting financially stable. But at the moment, you're at a crossroads here and you're holding the wand in your hand and the magic... You're holding the magic wand as well as the world. So you're actually at a crossroads where you need to make a decision. But you're feeling a lot of burdens. Something is burdening you at the moment. And it looks like it's to do with someone that you have a lot of feelings for. You got double confirmation. Oh my gosh. You got a real burden. Look at this. You got so much burdens. You're feeling so burdened by this person that you feel a lot of emotion about. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be you, Scorpio. You feel a lot of emotions. and Or you're feeling a lot of emotions over this person. If you're feeling a lot of emotions over a third-party situation. Where there's a lot of gossip and a lot of Lincoln things and that. Someone's feeling quite emotional. And this is double burdens. Look at all that. What are you carrying all that for? Anyway, this is a new cycle that's starting. It's a new beginning. But it's like you're wanting to... Someone is wanting to come in and offer some sort of little something about this little apology or little mature like offer. Nine of Cups. So in the distant past, you've had wish fulfillment. You've got wish fulfillment. And what is this about? You're holding on to it. You're holding on to this wish fulfillment. You're kind of like feeling a bit sad there. Look at this person. They've got they've got on their wishes, but now they're kind of like thinking they, they weren't quite happy with it. So be careful what you were thinking about. I guess in the past you obviously were you got wish fulfillment, but you didn't realise maybe at the time. Because now it looks like you're looking, you were looking elsewhere, you were looking, you were maybe distance. This is distance. So there's like a distance between you and your wish fulfillment. And you're holding on, you've been holding on to the past. So you're you were kind of like wanting to manifest and your ships were coming in, but you're holding on to something else from the past possibly. And now this is actually like another page. So this is immature. So it's like a, maybe you just focus on your work. Maybe you were just really working very hard. And like, so you wanted to offer maybe you focus on your work. Messages about financial stability. So you're just trying to build up your finances. And you're actually holding on to the past though. You're holding on to the past. Something from a distance. You're distant with somebody. Who was your wish fulfillment? Maybe somebody that you had. You're wanting to have reunion. you wanted to have reunion with this person. you wanted to celebrate. you wanted to celebrate. There's an empress. So who is this empress? Hmm? Who is this empress from this distant past? Looks like it's someone that was a lover. Who is this empress? Oh, goodness me. Someone that you've rejected. Somebody that 
has rejected your offer. Looks like you want to... Oh, you've been left in the cold by this empress. This beautiful empress. This is somebody here that embodies all the queens of the deck. Somebody that is gives birth to amazing things. This could be actually birth of a child. It could be that you're like... This person embodies all the queens of the deck. So this person is very abundant. They can give birth to amazing things. This is giving birth to a new idea. Giving birth to a new business. Somebody has left somebody in the cold. Somebody has been ghosted. Somebody has been frozen out. Feeling in the cold. Sort of like abandonment. So maybe the same person has abandoned this, you know, whoever, whoever you are. Or like, or you're the empress who's abandoned somebody else. And it looks like somebody maybe went to build somewhere else. Or that you've gone to build somewhere else. It's a new cycle. So there's a positive new cycle that's beginning. But somebody here has rejected an offer. This is actually a beautiful offer that's been given by spirit. And actually someone's been focused on the lack. So they missed out on this beautiful opportunity. So somebody here has maybe rejected to this beautiful empress. It looks like. And now... So now you're kind of like... Wanting to take things slowly. You're trying to build things up. You're trying to get stable. At the moment, your thoughts are about this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles takes their time. And they do things properly. So, this is your thoughts. Where you're wanting to take things slowly. This You're trying to maybe balance things out. You're trying to get things in order. So that you can come forward and make a proper offer. So, maybe this is your thinking that you can kind of like fix things up so that they can be perfect and you can come forward and offer something stable you're doing a lot of healing you're going within you're actually really having time out to heal and actually you're moving into calm waters so things are starting to balance out you're starting to kind of like bridge over troubled waters you're wanting to smooth things out you're wanting smooth sailing you're wanting things to be balanced you're over the conflict you're over the drama you're really wanting to be you know like you're kind of wanting to win some battles though but it's like you're above the competition. You're really kind of seeing this person standing out. So maybe you're wanting to come in and actually offer something. You're coming. So that's not a, like a knight is better than a page. So that's more mature. But it's still not a king. So the future. The future card is this hermit. So the future. You're going out with and having time out to heal it looks like. Virgo energy. So you're having time to heal. Still a page. So you're taking time out to heal. You're going within, having time to yourself to kind of heal. You could be a, you could be a mentor to others. Other people see you as, you know, like going within, having time out to heal. It looks like someone wants to have a reunion, come together, and kind of speak the truth now. So maybe you're wanting to come and speak the truth to this person. Maybe you're wanting the truth from this person. They could be a hermit. Also, can be a Virgo energy. So this is also. Um, like judgment, so you could be in judgment and you're wanting to keep your tr speak your truth to kind of clear the air because you're kind of maybe you're getting a bit of kind of karma, maybe you're kind of getting tough times because of the way that you're treating somebody. So you want to come in and speak the truth here to try, try and balance out the scales, and you're feeling quite a lot of passion as well. You're feeling passionate about this person. But you've also been, a little, maybe someone's been wishy-washy, or you or somebody else has been a little bit inconsistent. You couldn't make a decision. So there's somebody that's got very strong boundaries, this feminine energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you're fearing someone's strong boundaries. Somebody that could be um, that you rejected the offer, you've stayed stuck, you haven't decided to move forward, you're wanting to balance things out now. So this is somebody with strong energy. Strong boundaries, very strong and really just doesn't take any crap. Cuts out anybody that they need to. This could be you that you cut out somebody else or you're fearing this person who has strong boundaries. This is somebody that has rejected an offer and, you know, this may be that you've rejected this person. Now you're really feeling quite sad. You're really feeling upset because you stayed stuck. You stayed stuck in a karmic situation. Take off the blindfold, smell the roses and see what you really want. Make a decision. This could be that someone's at a distance from you. They're feeling very distant from you. You're actually wanting to come and balance things out now. You're wanting to kind of balance the scales. And you're actually feeling a lot more balanced. But you're still stuck. You look like you're still stuck. Take off the blindfold. And because you've missed an opportunity here, maybe that you're feeling stuck. So this is a tower. Other people see you as in a tower. 
Well, Tawa is like a shake-up. It's like a much-needed shake-up. Spirits actually make things crumble because it's been built on faulty foundation. So you still are a page. You're feeling a passion, a lot of passion. You're very much a page. Okay. So this is um, how others see you as like having a shake-up. This is a much-needed shock. It's a shock aura. That spirits brought down this tower because things are not built to last. This bit of painful ending. So they've seen that you had a painful ending. You've been stabbed in the back multiple times. And it's like a group of people. Maybe there's been a lot of conflict and a lot of drama. A lot of arguments. So this is actually a shake-up. And it's an ending. It's a painful ending. And now you're feeling quite a bit of emotion. You want to offer some sort of little offer. Friendship, apology. These two pages here. So passion. You feel passionate. and But you're like very immature. That's how others see you anyway. So this could be you or somebody else that you're dealing with. But you feel a lot of passion and you're wanting to offer a peace peacemaking. You know, peacemaking. But you're going for a tower. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. You're wanting to balance the scales out. Or maybe there's somebody else coming to balance the scales out. So King of Pentacles. So you're hoping you can be financially stable. You are hoping you can be financially stable. What is this game Pentacles? So you're focused on your money at the moment. You're hoping that you can be more stable. You're hoping for more rewards, that things are going to get balanced out. You're kind of really hoping that you can get balanced. So this is actually Virgo Taurus Capricorn, someone very good with money, so you're hoping that you can be financially stable. You're hoping that rewards can come in, you know, that things can balance out, that you can get that at the moment you're getting judgment. You're hoping that you can kind of come together with somebody maybe you're kind of wanting to offer something like a higher level sort of relationship maybe you're feeling because you feel that this person may be your joy so you could be this could be you or this could be someone else you're dealing with but they're also you're kind of feeling happy and joy this is leo energy so there's some sort of toxic situation maybe you're dealing with or you could be dealing with a capricorn so that could be you that you know that you've been dealing with a capricorn or a Leo, but you're actually really trying to find it to balance your money out. That the end is Hierophant. So this is actually interesting. What is this Hierophant? The end, um, high level. Oh, oh, fascinating. Okay, well, that's a bit of a strange one. So this is the outcome here. This is somebody that is a soulmate teacher. They could be a soul. This could be spirit. Spirit, or it could be that you, you know, this is actually Taurus energy. It could be that there's, you're wanting to kind of offer commitment. This is someone you see as uh, your lover. It could be a, it could be a love-hate situation, but it's also that you're having choices in love. So this is the ending. This is actually this person you're wanting to be, so you're going to be financially stable. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You don't have to be, but... It could be that you are really balancing out your finances. You're going to be offering love. This is actually choices in love. So you're going to be maybe offering a love situation and you're wanting marriage. So this is someone you see as your soulmate. You really are wanting to kind of balance things out. You, you really love this person. You really care about them. And you are becoming very stable. You're financially stable as well. So you're working very hard on your on your income. You're working very hard on your job. You're getting really stability. So you're actually wanting to be stable. This is divine masculine that you're really becoming your possibly into your empress or emperor because you. This is the recent past. So we have a match here. So we have a match. You're focused on your money. You're really getting financially stable. You're actually coming into your emperor energy so that you know you can be with this emperor empress you know you just can be together so you're coming into union this is a love relationship and it's also marriage so really beautiful ending so very happy for you this is taurus and um gemini energy so very happy for you that you're coming together you're very working very hard and it's all paying off your hard work so very cool very happy for you bye